Hello guys and welcome to this new series. This series I will be uh, teaching you how to create random level generation for your game. So this is just going to be the intro, so this is part one. I'm just going to show you some examples and a little bit how we're going to do it. So like I think it's called the algorithm stuff. So right off the bat let me just click play here and this is a little example of what we're going to do. So you can see it uh, generated a random level and you can walk around and uh, do stuff. So if I restart it, it will generate a new one and it will be totally different because it is all random. And to see it, slow it down so you can see the actual process of the random level generation, you can click on the screen or go to the description for a little video that I created a while ago. So let me just jump into Photoshop and explain a little bit uh, of how this works. So basically we have an object, um, an object which is our generator. So this is our generator, right? And we will attach script to it called load generator and we, it will make it move around. So we will specify how many tiles there will be. And for every tile, it will move one time. Either forward, right, left, or down, right? And when it moves one time, it first starts to create a tile, and then it moves. And every time it moves, it creates a tile. And it's all random, so it's just moving around and creating tiles. And that's how we basically generate the floor. And for the walls, we're going to do something different. Uh, we're going to use some arrays and check some camera lengths and stuff. So, yeah, that's basically it for the algorithm. It's quite simple. You can also go and read a article on what's called Vlambia's website uh, for their Lumdair game called Wasteland Kings. I guess they explained how to, uh, how they did the random level generation there. It's kind of the same thing we are trying to achieve. So I'll provide a link in the description. You can go down and click on it. So I guess this was just the intro part one. And in the next part, we're going to set up and start programming. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.